Congratulations. Good luck. Well, that little face. Uh -huh. Right? Beautiful story. Yeah. Teachers are so generous and so Oh, many man. Ways. And I mean, he'll just live his whole life and yeah. hopefully just be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Should we, we get, get Should we get you outside on this? Yes. Sunday? Yeah, because we haven't seen the sun like blast us yet. I know. Yesterday, good. I, we were blasted by the we're sun, blasted. right? Which I was, I'm never going to complain about. Today, <laughs> the, the filtered sun kind of sticks with us as the high clouds mix in. But don't worry, it doesn't keep us from warming up. Now, the very warm one ahead in this morning already feeling warm 70 degrees in Central Park down the shore we're in the 70s Asbury Park at 72 already this morning I'm sure that's a very popular place come this afternoon 71 for Sayreville 72 in New uh, Newark 72 for Belmar 73 in Islip out in Montauk 68 degrees but we're all warming up very quickly and our highs eventually make their way to the low to mid 80s a similar landing spot to yesterday but these numbers are up just a touch yesterday our dew points were in the 40s it was that crisp refreshing air today maybe a little uptick in humidity but not to the point that it messes with you a whole lot I don't think you're really notice the difference today but it's just a trend we're watching into the work week yeah we got a little more moisture to work with and eventually we'll start to feel that humidity creep up just a little bit here's a look at satellite and radar so we had that thicker cloud cover move in right after sunrise now starting to thin out a little bit so at times today we will see a bit of blue sky and sunshine it's not completely gray all day long but partly to mostly cloudy skies take us through this afternoon and evening what I'm watching are these showers back off to our west maybe some light rain in portions of western Pennsylvania if they hold together Together. They do bring us a bit of a rain chance late tonight into first thing tomorrow morning. But right now, it's not looking like anything all that widespread or consistent, and it certainly should not mess with your Sunday plans. All good through this afternoon. Future cash showing those highs, making their way to the low to mid-80s this afternoon. Again, a similar feel to yesterday in terms of temperature, just a different look because the cloud cover continues to mix in. As we move into this evening, I paused it here because it's picking up on maybe one or two raindrops far north and west of New York City. Those higher elevations could see a stray shower tonight. But it's so widely scattered and very isolated that, again, it shouldn't mess with your Sunday evening plans. So I bet we stay dry all day long. As we move into the overnight hours, however, a few of these showers could fire up. And that means some wet spots are possible on the pavement right around the morning commute tomorrow. But anything that does develop should wrap up by mid-morning Monday. And from there, even the clouds begin to break. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds into your Monday afternoon. Highs back in a warm spot with an isolated thunderstorm threat south and west of New York City. Moving into Tuesday, that forecast pattern dries out. So rain chances really aren't great for today or through the first half of the work week. It's by Thursday that we start to see a more widespread shower and thunderstorm threat move in, but spotty at best for the next several. So we get to settle in to a pretty quiet weather pattern. So although, yes, it looks a little different today with the clouds mixing in with the sunshine, same feel as yesterday, warm enough to support those outdoor plans and really quite beautiful, even with that slight uptick in humidity, not to the point that it gets uncomfortable. So the hour by hour looking fantastic. Forecast high today, 83, 84 degrees. We're five to eight above the seasonal average, similar to yesterday. Just a few more clouds in the mix. Can't eliminate the possibility of a spot shower far northwest New York City as we move into this evening, but it shouldn't mess with you a whole lot. Mostly cloudy and more humid as we head into the overnight hours. And something big on social media right now is that parade of planets. Our viewing isn't looking great, not just because of the mostly cloudy skies, but because a couple of those planets might not actually be visible to the naked eye tonight. As we move into the end of the month, we have another possibility, and we're hoping for clearer skies for that one. Heading into tomorrow, Tomorrow morning shower is going to be possible, but moving into midday, the showers wrap up, clouds begin to break. Another warm one tomorrow with highs in the low 80s. After that, we get back to regularly scheduled programming. This time of year, our highs should be in the mid 70s. That's where we're at Tuesday and Wednesday with a bit of a sea breeze. Then we have that more widespread thunderstorm threat on Thursday. But until then, pretty quiet conditions. Michelle and Tony, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Danny. All right. Thanks. Uh... Coming up at 9.30, we're going to have the results of a new poll taking a look at what Americans think of the verdict in Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial, how it may or may not affect his candidacy. We're also following uh, the latest out of Patterson, New Jersey. Look at that fire where that huge fire uh, burned through several buildings. I went to Gelman's Pilates studio. Oh. Kelly, maybe we'll do a duet together. They call that a duet. A duet? Two people. Oh, yeah. we'd love that, but yeah. we would you have and to I film side it. by side. <laughs> they call it a duet. A duet. Yes. <laughs> so weird. Next live, Leslie Odom Jr., Eric Dane, plus the Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. We worked out together. It wasn't a duet. No one, I never heard the word, let's do a duet. I was, ran out of the room. Watch live tomorrow morning at 9 on ABC7. Whoa!